friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library where today we're going to discuss my TBR takedown for the month of January. If you're new here, welcome. The TBR takedown is a game that I've been playing trying to get my physical unread TBR shelf down from a really high number down to something more manageable. At the end of 2022 we finished the year off with 76 books and we are going to be changing up our format for this year. Previously our format was if we started the month with 100 books and I read five but I hauled six then we would have you know ended up at 101 books. Essentially anything that I read that I physically owned a copy of would come off of the TBR and anything that I purchased that I hadn't read would go onto the TBR and we would even it out at the end of the month. What I learned last year is that I was really good at buying new books in 2022 and then reading those same books. So I was only reading 2022's books and not actually reading anything that had been on my shelf for years. Because of this, I decided in 2023 to make it a little different. Essentially, any books that I haul in 2023 are going to go on what I'm calling my current TBR. And that is a whole separate list that we're not gonna talk about until 2024 and anything that was on my shelf on January 1st of 2023, that's gonna be considered my backlist TBR and that is what we're gonna be focusing on in the TBR takedown. So anything that I buy this year does not go onto the list, we're only taking things off of the list. Now because I essentially made it so much easier for myself to do the game, we had to add in a part that made the game harder or at the very least, more fun. So my goal for the end of 2023 is to have my backlist TBR down to 25 books. We're currently at 76. So what I did was I made a spread in my planner for every month, but essentially I have what we started with, which was 76, and then how many books I read, how many books I unhauled, and then that gives me where I'm at with my number, and then I take the goal, and then I subtract those, and we get to this wonderful list called need to yeet. That's what I'm calling it. Essentially at the end of January I need to be down to 72. If I'm not down to 72 books I have to unhaul until I get there. At the end of February I need to be at 68 books. If I'm not at 68 I need to unhaul until I get there. At the end of March I need to be at 64 books. If I'm not at 64 books I need to unhaul until I get there. So I didn't want to make it that I needed to read four books every month because like if I read 12 in one month and then at some point I'm going to run out of books and I felt like that would be not as much fun. So what I did instead was like if I read eight books in January then I don't really have to read any in February. But essentially I'm just trying to get four to five books a month off of my shelves. If I don't get to the number that I need to be at for the end of that month I need to unhaul until I get to the number. It's a whole thing. The important thing to know is that because I'm not actually keeping track of 2023's books for the TBR takedown, I purchased a lot of books in January. Unfortunately for me, at the end of 2023, whatever books I bought in 2023 are going to go on the list for next year. And we're going to do this again next year. So say I get this down to 25 books, but then I bought 100 books this year. That means I'm up to 125 and I got to get back down to 25 again. Like, it's going to be a fun time, essentially is where I'm going with this. Okay, let's talk about other books. Typically, when we do these, I will put the books that I'm hauling in here, um, but I have like a giant haul this month, so that's not gonna be happening. It will be its own separate video. I did not DNF or unhaul anything this month. So essentially today, we're just gonna be going over the books that I read for the month of January. These will not be the wrap up. The wrap up will be a separate video, and that will be on Thursdays. That'll be Thursday's video will be the wrap up. So today you get TBR takedown and Thursday you will get the wrap up of the books that I read. So we're going to go through all of them so that I don't miss any and then I'll tell you which ones count as coming off. Also the numbers are up here for you. We'll have starting number which was 76 and we need to get to 72. Let's see how I did. The first book that I read in 2023 was Atomic Habits by James Clear, which I do not own a physical copy of, so it does not count. We then have Love in This Time of Serial Killers by Alicia Thompson, which was an arc, so it does not count. We then have Drive Your Plow Over the Bones of the Dead by Olga Tokarczyk, I think. Uh, and I don't own a physical copy of that, so that does not count. 
We then have What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. This was a 2023 purchase, so it does not count. A Day Without Dawn by Jillian Eaton, which is the, well, what used to be the oldest book on my physical TBR, so this one does count. A semi-definitive list of Worst Nightmares by Crystal Sutherland, which I already own and it was a reread, so it doesn't count. Elantris by Brandon Sanderson, which was a 2023 purchase, so it does not count. The Book of Cold Cases by Simone St. James, which does count. Beyond the Wand by Tom Felton, which was an audiobook and does not count. Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan, which I do not own and does not count. And finally, we have Burn for Burn and Fire with Fire by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. And these were both purchased a bajillion and a half years ago and do count as coming off of my physical TBR, which means that gets me to 72 books, which means I don't have to unhaul anything this month, which is fantastic. As a little side note, I originally intended to not hold myself to the number for January because I honestly made this decision um, around the last week of January and was like, mm, maybe I should give myself some grace, you know, because I hadn't actually made this decision originally. But I had plenty of time at the end of January to add in some books, so I just started going with the Burn for Burn trilogy, um, which is, spoiler alert, now finished. So I made it to where I needed to be. I don't have to unhaul anything. I really don't want to have to unhaul anything because I think I did a really good job last year of doing like try chapters and things to really call my books down to books that I really want to read. Having to unhaul things is gonna be tricky for me because I'm not going to want to unhaul anything. So it's really kind of forcing me to actually read the things, uh, which is good. So, so far I'm enjoying what I've been reading and I've been having a good time. So for the end of February, we need to be at 68 books, which means I need to read another four books from my shelves next month. Hopefully I'm able to do that. Let me know in the comments below how you feel about this new setup. Do you think it's like me cheating? Do you think it's better? Do you think it's just a different version? Um, is there something that you would do differently if you were doing this? Let me know in the comments below because I like to make this fun for you guys. I know this is like one of your favorite things to watch. So I don't know if this method is really quite as fun. I mean, I'm sure it will be when I don't reach the four books I need to read and I have to unhaul things and you get to watch me panic, but um, I would like to know. So let me know in the comments below how you feel about all of the things. If you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave your favorite emoji down below so that I know that you are here. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.